One of the things that I'm uh, trying to be sensitive to is that we often over in the United States, as you know, and you were the ambassador of the African Union, tend to talk about a continent as opposed to individual countries and nations, of which there are 54, there are 49 uh, heads of state here in Washington this week. And are we making a mistake? Are we, are we, is our ignorance on our side, from your impression of our ignorance, you know, amplified by us talking about Africa so much as, as opposed to talking about Rwanda, Zimbabwe, Ghana? Should we be, are, you know, is our illiteracy, is illiteracy in this level so obvious that, that it's, a, it's a real problem? And do these kinds of summits that bring everyone together do a disservice to that kind of getting to know each country more distinctly? I think for the United States, and I'll repeat it, and I used to repeat it uh, all the time during my tenure, what really is behind the failure of effective engagement with Africa is the disrespect of the Africans. Huh. That's where the problem begins. If we cannot accept, if the United States cannot accept Africans as equal partners, if the United States, for example, let's look at this particular uh, uh, meeting, this particular summit, there was no defined agenda. There has never been defined agendas whenever they meet with African countries as individual countries. It's always the United States setting the agenda, the United States setting the policies, and the United States telling the Africans about the policies. Mm. That is no way to have any meaningful engagement. If you take, for example, the fourth POCAC meeting that was held between China and the African heads of state, way in advance, the issues were clearly defined. The agenda was going to focus on trade. It was going to focus on aid. It was going to focus on investments. The African heads of states were engaged in the discussion, in the planning. The outcomes were uh, clearly defined with a way forward in terms of follow-up. It was a fruitful meeting that addressed the issues that needed to be addressed between not only African countries individually with China, but also Africans collectively with China. There is no published agenda. There, is, there are no issues that have been presented to the African heads of states. Africans have, been, have not been asked to, to engage in terms of creating the agenda and making sure that when the African heads of states come to Washington, the outcomes, the issues to be discussed are going to be meaningful uh, outcomes, outcomes with follow-up, and deliverables that are going to be beneficial to both.